Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are jumping back on the Mark 8 Golf R project. Um, obviously, the last thing that we did was install the ASC ALS kit. So it's an adjustable lowering spring kit. Really, really happy with that. But now it's obviously time to fit a more serious coilover system on the car. So uh, we've opted for an AST 5100 series competition. So this is going to be a full coilover. A coilover on the front with adjustable camber top mount so we can add in some additional negative camber to unlock a lot of grip on the front axle. Then on the rear of the car, you have a true coilover. So um, most coilover kits on these particular cars where you have from the factory a separate spring and damper, they supply you with a separate spring and damper. So then you just have a threaded um, spring, uh, threaded ride height adjuster for the spring to make it obviously extend out or reduce down. That's how you get your ride height adjustment. But on this particular kit we're fitting on this car, it's gonna be a full coilover on the rear of the car as well. Again, because it's a competition series, it's gonna have rear uh, solid top mounts as well. So we're gonna remove all the deflection, um, all of the movement from the suspension on the car or from the coilovers rather. These, this particular kit as well is a one-way adjustment. So you've got your rebound adjustment on there so we can dial in the handling. So this is like a really, really good sort of like track day and also up to sort of like club racing coilover kit. Um, so let's get the car in the workshop. Let's remove these um, factory dampers off the car and then compare them next to the ASCs. So you have to forgive me for just how dirty the Mark 8 Golf R is. We gave the keys to Ravi from CSF and he drove it through all the puddles, all the mud piles, all that kind of stuff at Goodwood Festival of Speed. And we just got up on the ramps and it's just brown everywhere. So we have to clean a little bit of that off. Um, but in the meantime, let's talk you through um, some of the features of obviously the AST 5100 series competition. So I've got the front damper in my hand now. So obviously you can see it's a coilover, so you have the ride height adjustment with the adjustable spring perch down here. One of the nice features about this damper, or one of many nice features about this damper, is we have this anti-seize spring perch. So you can actually undo this, pull it off completely and reattach it if you want to. Um, so obviously if it ever does sort of like seem like it's gonna seize, you can just remove it. Um, just down here, you have the adjustable drop link mount. So you can adjust this up and down so you can get the um, length of the drop links correct and then going to the top of the damper you see the camber adjustable top mount so this is where we're going to be able to add more negative camber on the underside of the top mount you've got like a environmental seal as well so that's going to help with reducing the amount of like ingress of like dirt debris things like that they're going to reduce the life of this bearing so that's going to keep the life um, nice and high you can see because the um, cylinder is so wide at the top you can see that it's an inverted damper so what that means is is that this part of the cylinder is usually inside this damper or inside the damper body so this has been switched upside down which is why it's called inverted so this particular damper as well has a very 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 wide cylinder so you can also get a very wide piston in there which is bigger than most of the other ones available in other inverted kits and because it's inverted on a McPherson car that's really good because it's going to resist the deflection that you get because you get like a bending load going through the damper as you go through the corners. So that's gonna help um, reduce the amount of deflection. The damper makes it feel even more direct. And then on the bottom, you've got the one-way adjustment as well. So it's just a single click on this. Um, I think it's about 12 clicks in total on this particular damper. Um, so you can adjust your rebound, get it set up just about how you like. So, and the other thing about this damper, finally, it's KTL treated as well. So it's a nice um, finish on this, a nice black finish that's the anti-corrosion. Okay, so we've got a rear damper here. So nice thing about the AST coilovers is that they can come as a true coilover like this or one of your typical like divorce setups where you have the spring and the damper separate. So this is the true coilover option. Just like the front, we've got the single adjustment here on the bottom of the damper so you can dial in your rebound. And at the bottom and the top of this damper, it's spherically mounted as well. So we do away with the factory rubber bushes and on the top mount, you've got a nice metal top mount. So this is again going to reduce all that deflection, give you much more feedback. 
And because it's a true coil over rear, you've got really good freedom of what springs you can choose as well. So you can choose pretty much any spring rate you desire, which is really important to obviously dial in the handling just right. So yeah, let's get the um, standard dampers of the ALS kit removed from the car and get these fitted and see what the car drives like. C5100 competitions have been fitted to the market go far. The cars all aligned, so let's take it out on the roads and see what it feels like. Okay, so we are out in the market golf car with the AST 5100 competitions. So just seeing what the car drives like really. Obviously we haven't had an opportunity to take it out on track quite yet. So we thought we'd give you some driving impressions whilst we're out driving the car um, around some of this beautiful countryside. So immediately versus um, some very tight dampers and aftermarket springs, you can tell that the car is much more composed. So this road is like super, super bumpy. Um, there's some big sort of like dips, jumps and stuff like that. And when you're traveling at speed on the standard dampers with standard springs or aftermarket springs, it definitely feels under damped. It takes quite a lot um, to control or takes a lot of time from one bounce to then settle the vehicle. It tends to bounce a couple of times. Whereas with this suspension now, you can really feel that when you go through these like big dips, big jumps, um, go around the corners, the car settles really, really quickly, which definitely instills quite a lot of confidence on the vehicle. So obviously, yeah, it is firmer, as you'd expect from more of sort of like a fast road track day kind of setup but I wouldn't necessarily say it's uncomfortable, which is also quite impressive considering that with this setup, we also have the front camber adjustable top mounts and also on the rear, you have the solid top mounts as well. And usually you'd expect loads of sort of like noise, vibration, harshness to be transmitted through to the cabin. Um, and I'm really surprised and happy to say that there isn't really any noticeable increase in sort of like MVH um, on these sort of like B and A roads. I'd probably imagine that if you were to take the car around on like the streets, you'd probably hear a little bit more MVH um, because of you can hear all those sounds a lot more, but definitely on these sort of like speeds, you can't really hear any sort of like difference. So we're coming up to some more twisty bits now. So let's see, and we've got a really big bump here. Let's see how the car handles. So you can see there, car even though there's quite a lot of steering angle there um, a big bump settled really really quickly so the thing that i thought was really letting the car down before was the tires it was only running um sort of like dunlop sport mac tires sport max tires rather um, so i was really thinking those tires weren't really providing a lot of grip and obviously they're a bit of a step down from the pilot sport 4s that we were driving before but actually with this suspension you can really feel 
that the suspension is getting all the grip that it possibly can from the tires. Obviously better spring rates, much better damping, more sophisticated dampers as well to control all of those um, wheel and body movements. So yeah, it feels really, really good, even though it is on uh, not particularly very good tires, which I think is probably the most impressive thing. So we're really looking forward to um, putting back on some track tires, something like a Cup 2, maybe like a Nankang CRS, and then taking it out on some track days, which we might have the opportunity to do this year, or we might look at doing it sort of early part of next year, because obviously the weather's been pretty bad. Yeah, I think if you're looking for a suspension that's really good on the road, fast road use, but then also can go all the way to motorsport use, this is a really, really good coilover system for you. And it can definitely grow with um, sort of like your build as well. So say for example, you want to then start to run even grippier tires, take weight out of the car, all that kind of stuff. There's enough um, damping adjustment and wide enough adjustments between them that you can keep on changing those spring rates, increasing the spring rates, and then optimizing the spring rates for use with your build as it changes over time as well. So you don't really have to keep on buying different coilover kits um, throughout the use of the car. So yeah, really, really enjoy this kit. It's definitely surpassed my expectations of, of what it was going to drive like, um, sort of like noise-wise on the street, as well as how well the, the car handles on these tyres as well. So if you've got any questions, and obviously hit us up in the comments, be happy to answer. And if you're looking for a suspension kit like this, uh, this particular one will be in the description as well. So yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done already, then give us a thumbs up. If you want to watch some of our other videos that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you want to watch some other videos in the same playlist, then click here. And if you haven't done already, then hit the subscribe button right here.